Hi guys, it's Joss here. Um, recently made this uh, slide on characteristics of a systems linker and just wanted to share a few of my uh, thoughts about this and kind of walk you through that a little bit. Um, so these are the, the four main ones, uh, holistic thinking, characteristic, uh, capacity to apply, uh, reflexive thinking and personal characteristics. So this is all about kind of moving from the ideas to actually the, the characteristics, um, the attributes, the behavior, should we say, of um, a systems thinker and what it looks like in practice to actually be applying this. Um, so just going to quickly walk you through those. We'll start off with the reflexive thinking. And I think this is maybe the most important thing, like understanding paradigms, understanding uh, mental models and, and what's kind of uh, constructing your, your thinking and view of the world and also the limitations of those. So you'll hear systems thinkers talk a lot about that um, and I think it's really important otherwise you're kind of unlikely that you're going to really come up with um, ways of thinking and viewing that are really systemic um, because you're not really aware of where they're coming from. So um, you need to be a critical thinker. You need to be open to unpla unpacking uh, your mental models and being reflexive about how you're looking at the world and the assumptions you're bringing in uh, to that and yeah, questioning one's assumptions. Um, so determining the relevance and importance of ideas um, seeks to understand multiple perspectives, which is critical to understanding complex systems. We can't just view things from one perspective. Um, so that's reflexive thinking, and it, I think it's really foundational in terms of um, being willing and open uh, to unpack and explore and uh, discuss and make transparent your, your mental models, your assumptions, and essentially your paradigm um, so that then you can know where your ideas are coming from, know where your perspective, and know that of others also, and be able to have a conversation about that, which is typically not what, what, what's happening. So uh, a key aspect. Second one here, holistic thinking. Uh, we hear that a lot, you know, the association between systems thinking and holistic thinking. Um, so seeking to understand things in context, and I talk a lot about context and I talk about systems thinking because I think that's a key word. A uh, systems thinker is never just looking at a thing, they're always looking at that thing in, in context in relation to other things. Um, and understanding context, working with context, um, talking about context is uh, key to being a systems thinker. So again, these are kind of attributes. This is what you'll see and what you'll hear when someone's um, talking as a systems thinker or looking at things as a systems thinker. So they seek to understand systemic structures, you know, the underlying patterns and so forth, um, instead of just focusing on the, the outcomes, the events, understands reductionism and holism. Really important to be aware of that, kind of goes back to the mental models and the paradigms. Um, often people aren't fully aware of what that means, reductionism and holism and those, those different paradigms. So be aware of that and then be able to trace that through to be able to say, oh, that's a reductionist way of looking at the world. That's a reductionist approach. That's a reductionist a model. And, and not saying that's bad. It's just saying that's one modality, right, of looking at the world, but there's others. And what are the consequences of that way of looking at the world, that way of representing things, that way of approaching things and so forth, and also holism, what that means and, and, and kind of what comes out of that worldview um, is uh, equally, and be able to balance those two, two ways of looking at the world. So they look at relationships and interdependencies, talk about that a lot, kind of um, they love networks and uh, looking at relationships and the quality of relationships is really important. Stay going, um, capacity to apply. So yes, this is all about moving away from systems thinking just as a, a set of ideas and mental models, but um, really is about personal attributes, about how you kind of show up in the world, how you behave and act and, and, and of course apply within your particular area. So it's a willingness to alter behavior is, uh, is very important, uh, be fla flexible and adaptive, systemic in your approaches and create space for emergence. So. I think the final one there, just to pick up on that, you'll definitely see it. Uh, people are really reflective of this in, in an era. They'll, they'll always be kind of moving away from solutions and really thinking about uh, creating space uh, for uh, bringing people together and, and trying to make emergence happen in, in some way. Um, and personal uh, characteristics, acceptance of diverse uh, viewpoints. Um, again, going back to that need of 
kind of diversity and different viewpoints when dealing with complex systems. But we could also say being inclusive is an important aspect of that. The spaces that they uh, create are, are inclusive. So because they recognize the need for, for diversity of viewpoints and um, opinions. So a desire to be well informed, uh, open and fair minded. So these are kind of foundational critical thinking skills that actually I really believe are needed for being a systems thinker. They're also inquisitive. They are curious. You do need to be Curiosity is a really important attribute in, in the world of complexity because um, it's going to help you continuously um, inquire and search and learn and experiment in the way that you need to when dealing with, with, with complexity. Uh, otherwise, you're not uh, really going to explore it in the way, way that's needed. So uh, just wanted to wrap up um, because um, already at time, but those are the key characteristics of a systems thinker, thinking uh, holistically, understanding, you know, reductionism, holism, uh, being able to unpack your mental models, your capacity to apply this and alter your behavior and be flexible uh, and creating space for emergence or reflexive thinking, um, uh, you know, questioning your assumptions, key, uh, personal characteristics, uh, acceptance of diversity, open, fair minded, inquisitive and so forth. So I'm going to wrap up there and I uh, have to talk to you soon.